Hi guys and welcome to today's video. If you are new around here my name is Katie and I am an English literature and philosophy student currently studying at Cardiff University. As you can probably tell from today's title I'm going to tell you what you should expect in your first week at university. So if you're expecting to go to university this September then definitely watch this video because I can give you a little bit of an insight into what to expect because I've now been at university for two full years so kind of know from both sides what's happening. Don't forget to subscribe whilst you're here. Also, I release a wide range of university content as well as beauty content, travel content, and I'm about to do study abroad in LA, so my content's gonna be amazing because it's sunny all the time. Anyway, let's get into today's video. But one of the scariest things about going to university is not knowing what to expect in your first week. Despite, obviously, the universities give you lots of information about when to turn up, where to turn up, and various introduction talks in the first week. But I always feel like it's good to get a view from a student who's done it, so kind of knows what to expect, because I can give you the academic side and also the social side. In your first week, you are going to move into halls if you've decided to live in halls and you're gonna meet all of your flatmates, who hopefully you already have chatted to online. I've got another video about how to find your flatmates online that will either be posted soon or has already been posted but I will link it down in the description box below. And you'll also meet people in your house and you, unless you don't want to obviously, chances are you're going to go to freshers events which are basically club nights. In Cardiff we have a wristband ticket called the paper wristband which I think is a three week wristband now. I think when I got it, it was a two week wristband. But every single night there's a different event on at a different club and they go all out. Like we had S Club 7 minus four members at one of our freshers events. But yeah, you're gonna go out and honestly it is quite a good way to like bond with people you've just met because you're all having fun, everyone's a little bit tipsy so no one's as like awkward as you are when you're first meeting people and you're stoke cold sober. So it is kind of helpful to be a little bit tipsy. Only, if you're watching this and you're outside of the UK, please check the legal drinking age. Legal drinking age in the UK is 18, so if I'm going to university is legal. Anyway, note aside. That's all self-explanatory. That's kind of what everyone expects from freshers. Then you have the academic side, where you are going to go to probably your faculty building and you're gonna meet some of the lecturers. Um, you're gonna have talks about what to expect from your first year and your whole time at university. I would really, really recommend going to these. If you can, try and find someone to walk with from your halls to there, because then you'll have someone to sit with. But don't worry if you can't. I would recommend going and sitting next to someone, asking, can I sit next to you in those introductory lectures, because no one really knows each other, so that's the time when you can make friends um, more easily, because there's no groups yet, and everyone's kind of like open to making new friends, because no one has any friends. So go and sit with someone and introduce yourself and tell them a bit about you. There's the usual, what's your name and where are you from kind of malarkey. Just do that and then you can talk about what events you're planning on going to as well. And there tend to be talks kind of like, I think we have like a talk every day about something or other. So we had an introductory talk, we had one about the library and how to use library systems. I'm sure there were definitely others as well. I know that I, ha I had multiple different talks because I'm joint honours so I had them from both sides of both of my um, subjects, despite the fact that they're in the same faculty. Oh, and they also talk to you about where to get your books from and stuff like that. Really, really helpful information, so try to go even if you're hungover. Would definitely recommend. The other thing to expect in Freshers' Week, and also try and research this before you go, is which societies you want to join. So, I'm pretty sure that every university is set up in the same way that Cardiff is. We have an SU, which is the student union, and an AU, which is the athletic union. So the SU looks after the societies. So that could be anything from, I'm on the committee for the English Lit Society, there's also like a Disney society, a baking society, um, there's even like a London society at Cardiff Uni, I'm not entirely sure what they do because I haven't looked into it. But there's lots of different things that you can join. Um, and there's definitely something that will interest everyone. Then you have the AU, who are the Athletics Union. Again, if you're into sport, there's loads of different things. There's the classic rugby, netball, cheerleading. You get the gist, the sports clubs. 
and then you also have student media so Cardiff has radio, newspaper, magazine and television so you can also join those and become a member of those and make content for the student media teams. All three of those sections run socials throughout Freshers. So what you want to do is go onto your student union website because this is where they all are, um, well at least for Cardiff, anyway. Find the list of societies and athletics clubs at your university that you're going to and you should be able to find the social media links as well. I would very 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 highly recommend that you follow them all on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram because they will be posting their events throughout Freshers. Personally I'm in charge of social media for the English Literature Society so if you're going to Cardiff follow our Facebook page which is Cardiff University English Literature Society. Um, you can just search it and it will come up. And make sure you're checking our events because we will be putting up events and I will be blasting the hell out of them absolutely everywhere. I did it last year and I'll do it again this year. But just make sure that you're following where this information is going to be because then you can find the welcome events um, for the societies and the athletics clubs. This is where you can meet people that have similar interests to you. Um, athletics clubs tend to do their socials on Wednesdays because this is student night and then you go to the SU afterwards um, and they tend to do initiations but no one's allowed to call it an initiation because initiation is technically banned in most universities. Just google it, you'll understand why. Um, that's why athletics clubs. And they'll also have introductory um, like come and give it a go sessions where you can have a go at their sport. Societies on the other hand do also do events that are like give it a go sessions that's what we call them at Cardiff and it just sounds like the best term to call them. So we in Freshers do a big pub social where everyone can get to know each other and mingle. We do a coffee crawl um, so that there's like a social without alcohol for those who don't want to drink alcohol and feel uncomfortable being around it. You can meet new people and you get to see the sights of whatever city. And then societies and also um, athletics clubs also do things like pub crawls, quizzes, all of these things. So it's really, really a good idea to get involved especially in the first week because this is when everyone's new so it's a bit less daunting going to these events because you're not going to be the only new person there not everyone is already going to know each other and as for the committees we are more prepared to integrate new people at the beginning of the year not that we aren't the rest of the year but at the beginning of the year we're expecting new people so we're there and we're on the lookout for new faces to say hi to so definitely definitely research before you go which societies and clubs you want to join and see what events they've got going on if they don't have any of their events up send their like facebook page or their instagram page a little message being like oh are you doing anything during freshers i'd really like to get involved that's what i'd forgotten you have the su fair during freshers um and this is normally held in your su and most societies and most athletics clubs have a table where they will be for the whole day so you can come and meet them There'll be loads of giveaways. We have Domino's come and do giveaways at Cardiff. The past two years running, a um, member of my flat slash house has won like, pizzas for the whole flat, which is amazing. So definitely go, even if you don't want to join a society, although I would highly recommend joining a society, because you'll get free stuff. And like we last year gave out free books because, you know, like English Lit. But yeah, definitely, definitely go to the SU fairs. The other thing that I think you can expect in your first week is also to have a lot of free time. I know I had a lot of free time but um, just fill it up with the new people you're meeting and go and explore the new city or town that you're in because um, you're going to be living here for three years so you want to get to know the best bits and where you want to spend your time. Um, I know I spent a lot of time kind of exploring in the first couple of weeks with like new people I've met and it was just a really nice thing to do. Anyway I hope that this video has kind of helped you know a little bit more of what to expect in your first week at university. That's the other thing, do expect to get Freshers Flu. If you don't get it, you're the lucky few. I was ridiculously ill with Freshers Flu in first year. So if you can, pack Lemsip, Paracetamol, stock up on your vitamins, even though you just moved away from home and you want to eat pizza for dinner every night, don't cook properly for the first few weeks so that you're nourished, so you don't get Freshers Flu because it's horrible and if you're like me and you can't take Lemsip or decongestants it's just a horrific experience because you're away from home and you know it's just it's not fun so stock up on your medicine before you go so that you 
are prepared for the freshest flu. Anyway, as I said, I hope this video was helpful in some way to you. If it was, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and like this video. If there's anything else you have questions about in terms of starting university and what to expect in your first couple of weeks, please leave them down below or you can contact me on Instagram or Twitter. The links are in the description box, but it's at Katie underscore May 07. And I will see you in my next video.